Good morning, good afternoon, good evening all over the world. Dobson 777A here. Okay, folks, we got a rocket launch today. Holy mackerel, gold was up 2%, silver was up almost 7%, platinum like 2.3%. And I'm looking after hours, uh, silver's down a little bit, platinum's down a little bit, but uh, gold is hanging in there. When I look at the chart today, check it out, man. We busted, we're up 2021 right now for gold and $26 for silver. This is incredible. I looked at my chart down here. What the heck? We are off the chart now on our uh, pitchfork. This thing has blown all the way through the top now. I had a feeling that was going to happen. I just, it's amazing what's going on right now. This is out of control. And I went and looked at the silver chart. And silver, you know, just broke through this. It doesn't really have a trend for the pitchfork yet because this was the bounded region all the way back to 2016. It was just stuck in this tight range. But we busted through that. I don't know where this is going either, but it, it doesn't have a predictable trend like this has had. This is now going, I mean, logarithmic, isn't it? I forgot to do this on log. Okay, that changed it a little bit, but not much. What the heck is going on, folks? Let's go look at some... Uh, news. So how many people saw this explosion in Beirut today? You got to watch this. It's only 18 seconds. That guy was probably a mile or so away from this thing and it looked like an amazing explosion. Everybody was saying it must have been a nuclear bomb. No, it wasn't a nuclear bomb. It apparently was thousands of pounds of aluminum, nit aluminum nitrate that uh, uh, went up that were not stored securely. And it looked like there might have been some fireworks or something else that might have started this whole thing off. But oh my God, what an explosion. So you ought to go look this thing up up here at the top and uh, go watch some of this video because that was very destructive. So as I'm scanning some of these headlines, you need to be aware this is another indication that we're going through a reset. They're cutting um, funding for the police departments and we know we've been letting people out of jails and this is all a sign that there is no money. This is a sign that we're going through the reset. The states are out of funding and they have to cut. Now, where do you cut? Do you cut, uh, you know, senior citizen services? Probably not. Uh, cutting police department funding, that's not a great deal either, especially if you're in some of these god-awful cities, the bigger ones. So you need to be aware you are going to be on your own. I hope you understand that. This is going to get worse before it gets better. Now, some of the smaller areas like where I live, I don't know that we're gonna see so much, but I bet you you're gonna see schools cut. I bet you're gonna see a lot of things along those lines. Those are next. But anyways, I'm, uh, I'm sitting here watching Watching this stuff, there's a uh, Schiff has been out there pumping $15,000 gold. I just saw that a second ago, here we go. So I, I saw a video on him the other day. He's out there telling everybody and Jim Rickards here, they were talking. So I don't know, when I look at these charts, uh, man, something's breaking folks. When that thing's shooting straight up like that, we hadn't really seen that before. We saw, we saw this one, which was fairly quick. Um, that was last year, but this is looking like this is about twice that, and we don't know if it's even done yet. Now, last year, this happened from, um, you know, the end of May, and it went all the way to the end of June, and then it went all the way to the beginning of September. So we still have this whole month before we get to September. So who knows where this thing's going? Are we going to just go straight to 3,000? I don't know. And then you could have a long drawn out thing like this was before. This is, this is really kind of amazing. Now the stock market uh, was pretty flat today. U U.S. stock market, 
when I look across here, Hong Kong was up 2.43, Japan 1.7, New Zealand 1, Singapore 1, but uh, uh, Canada was 1, but everything else was uh, pretty much flat. Italy was up a little bit, but not compared to, this is why I've been saying we've been on the right side of the trade for a year and a half. So here we are, uh, the ETF representation of the physical, GLD for gold is up 2%, platinum 3%, silver 6.23%. And when you look at the miners, so our simple ETF miner portfolio was up 4.54%, 48% for the year. Folks, we're just barely over half a year and we're at 50% already. You guys ought to be just loving this. So I want to remind you, a couple weeks ago, Bank of America had posted that within the next year and a half, gold was going to be at 3000 And they told that to all of their customers on a conference call. Now, I find it interesting that we've uh, just, uh, let's see how far we've gone up. This is just amazing to me still when I look at this. We were at 1681 uh, or even right here, 1800 We've gone up over 200 points, and this was just... When was that? That was uh, the end of July. Oh my gosh, just think how fast this is going. This is incredible. So I'm, I'm sitting here thinking that uh, something is breaking. Did they have the chance to plug the hole in the dam? Is it uh, that Three Rivers Gorge Dam is failing and this is just gonna be a tsunami of water of you know dollar bills flooding the country and that's the gold is just gonna go through the roof. I don't know, I don't. I thought we had a very predictable trend and I was happy with this. When things break like this, this is disconcerting, kind of like the way this one broke down down here. When this runs above the top, something, they've lost control. That's the only way I can explain it. They, somebody has lost control and I don't know what that means, except for we're on the right side of the trade. So, but I feel for people that have not invested as I've recommended because they're gonna get massacred if you're sitting in dollars, folks. You do not want to be in dollars. You wanna be in the physicals and you wanna be in the miners to be able to survive this thing. But something has broken and I am concerned. We all should be concerned the way this is breaking because that is a phenomenal change. Now, if this thing starts running along this line, it's basically been like a, a partial dollar reset is what they've done. They devalued the dollar a certain amount and then if it runs up along this way, but if this keeps going, that means we're just absolutely broken. But we don't know. They may have an idea that they're gonna devalue it 20%. They may just go ahead and take the cut and then it might be three years later, it might be another 20%, we'll see. But this looks like something's breaking. So I hope you have done everything that you're supposed to do for prepping and everything else because this looks like a break. It's a crack in the dam and we may be losing the dam here. So I, I don't wanna scare you, but this is not normal, not normal. So I'm concerned. This is not the way I would like to see it. I, I think everybody wanted this to be controlled. It's not controlled now. So. All right, I don't, I just want you to be aware. I'm, monitor, I'm monitoring this stuff like crazy, even though I've got some other things going on in my life right now. And uh, my God, have I met some unbelievably uh, educated women. And I'm just now starting some uh, basic dating, going to dinner and stuff, uh, nothing, nothing. Uh, I'm a Christian man, folks but I'm, I'm gonna date women and I'm going to enjoy their company and uh, we're gonna do it the way Christians do things because everybody I'm dating are all Christians and that's the way it works. But uh, unbelievably talented women, gorgeous women too. Um, we're all kind of in the same boat. We've all been divorced and stuff and so it's a, it's a different, different path I'm on right now but I've never felt more happy in, in my life in a long time. So. I'm, uh, I hope this is going to work out well, but I just want to keep you in the loop to let you know. But uh, I, there's one woman, she's uh, playing hard to get, and she knows about this channel now. I won't tell her name, but she is the sweetest thing. She reminds me of uh, Reba McIntyre. She has her own uh, radio uh, show on uh, one of the country stations, and uh, 
man, she's, she's kind of stole my heart. So I'm trying to uh, do what I can because she's, she's absolutely a wonderful person. She's actually recording some songs now and everything too, but uh, man alive, she's, uh, she's really something. So anyways, we got to, we're going to do this right. Um, I like women. I like, uh, I like company and, uh, I'm uh, like I said, I'm a Christian man, so I'm going to I'm going to do things the right way, just like I always have. Uh, I'm I'm a one woman man. So once I find that woman, then I'll be back and hopefully get another 30 years. That's the way I look at it. I, I, I'm not one that likes to play around. I don't. Uh, it's it's like I want to focus on one person. And it's it's uh, that's that's the way God planned it. We want to be. Uh, joined as one. Uh, that's the Bible. Uh, we're supposed to leave our parents and and supposed to be joined as one, and that's the way I'm designed. So I don't I don't apologize for that. I'm an old-fashioned guy, and that's the way I'm going to do it. So I hope uh, I hope my friend is listening because I keep telling her the same thing that I'm I am not the typical guy. I hope everybody's treating you well. I hope you're doing well. Do the best you can. God bless.